Morning guys. So it's that time of the week again where I deliver a few snippets of news for you about what's going on in Vietnam. Travel situation, COVID-19 situation and any uh, new services or products that are coming up with travel agent Hanoi. So I thought I'd do it a little bit different today and do it by bicycle. Okay, so the first bit of news, down in Da Nang, they are developing the beach areas for the tourists that cannot walk so well. They don't need the use of wheelchairs, but they have trouble in getting down the steps and uh, onto the beach areas. So they are developing uh, reinforced concrete along the edges with steel handrails and also a fiberglass walkway to the edge of the water. Now I haven't seen this in operation anywhere else but they do say that uh, a lot of beaches do have this facility. So it would be interesting to see what happens here. Da Nang has a very long coastline so they will be developing about 24 access points along that beach area so I presume Mike Hay will be one of those as it's the best beach in Da Nang actually. Second bit of news is that South Korea and Vietnam have agreed to abolish the 14 day quarantine rule for business people arriving in each other's country. I don't know what business people have that tourists don't but they won't have to do the 14 day quarantine if they travel here for less than 14 days. Now that will come into effect on the, 20, on the 1st of January 2021. Well, my argument is, how does the virus know? I mean, how does it know to target tourists and not business people? It makes no sense. Tourists could come in for seven days, ten days, ensure they have a negative test certificate before they board, test on arrival and be continually monitored. What's the difference between that and tourists? Seriously. But the, they're the rules. I'm not one to complain or argue about them. That's just the way it is. Okay, next bit of news. The long-awaited Hanoi Metro is starting to see some development. The first line that has been finished is now being tested. The tested started on Saturday, the 12th of December, and will go on for 20 days. Now this, this line is about 13 kilometers and over 12 stations and starts in Yen Nghi and ends in Kapling. There will be four carriages with a capacity of 900 passengers. And the service will be available every six to seven minutes and one to two minutes during rush hour. So this route will not exactly be perfect for tourists as it's Yen Nia is on the outskirts of Hanoi but Kat Lin is actually near the Temple of Literature. It's a short walk from there to the tram stop so it could be a way of uh, tourists who have had enough of sightseeing to head on to Kat Lin near the Temple of Literature to then hop on and go to Royal City. Now Royal City stop is Tuong Ding. So this is a, this should only be about a, a five minute trip to there. So that's a good, a good option for tourists who visit Vietnam and want to do a, a touch of shopping in a 
a Vietnamese shopping mall. They're quite vast and <laughs> and quite good actually. They've got all kinds of activities going on in there as well. That's a good thing to maybe take the kids to. I think there's an ice rink there, plenty of shops of course, loads of restaurants and maybe little cafes and bars as well. So that could be a, a nice little venture off from sightseeing and you can use the new tram. Now the, the whole line is only about 30 minutes in length in uh, journey time. So it could be it could be an interesting it could be an interesting little ride just to say you've done it. You've done the first line in Vietnam's Hanoi Metro. The whole network, which looks quite impressive on the map, just looks like London Underground with all the stations and, and routes going into Hoan Kim from Hanoi Airport and around the parks and different areas and districts of Hanoi. It looks really impressive, but they have scheduled this to be completed by the year 2050. I don't think I'll be here by then. I think you'll have Will Ming in charge by then. He'll be taking over the reins on his 18th birthday, like it or not. <laughs> okay, so on to COVID-19 news here in Vietnam. You may recall from last week, I mentioned the fact that just as I was publishing my video and telling everyone that there's no, not been any cross community transmissions for, the, for 90 days, when actually we did. So what happened was in Ho Chi Minh City, a flight attendant came back from the trip with Vietnam Airlines and didn't self-isolate uh, as per the rules. And so was, was uh, found to be positive and passed it on to his friend who visited. So basically this has now been basically contained. This is what the government have been saying. And they tracked and traced over 3,000 people. First and second generation. So that means people who came in contact with the, the virus uh, cases and also th those who came in contact with them people. So Vietnam are pretty good at this. They managed to trace them all, over 3,000 of them, and they've all been tested negative. They're all in isolation, self-isolation or in quarantine, so that's contained basically, so the government have said. So that's a, some bit of good news. Unfortunately for the flight attendant, he's probably going to lose his job, uh, causing mass panic again. That would have been the third wave, in effect. He could lose his job or actually be brought to justice. Uh, the actual sentence possible is up to 12 years imprisonment. That's a bit... Uh, that's a bit rough. <coughs> but if you flout the rules in Vietnam, you get punished. And they still have a death penalty here for trafficking drugs of a certain quantity, so don't mess about with that. So, also with interest in COVID-19, the uh, company Nanogen in Hanoi have been developing indigenous vaccine for COVID-19 which is great you know most countries have probably been trying to develop their own Vietnam are no exception so basically they have started human trials just this week and so the first first group of people will, uh, will start the first phase and they will they are hoping to be finished all human trials by hi nice to meet you hi they're hoping to finish the trials in six months so they are hoping that they will be able to roll out the vaccination in may 2021 which for me is fantastic news they can add this to the other vaccines that they they have ordered pre-ordered i believe they've ordered the oxford 
by a vaccine and also the Sputnik in Russia. Although the, the Russian one I've just seen in the news have stated that you shouldn't drink alcohol while you're taking the vaccine. That's not going to go down well with me or a lot of my mates. <laughs> so if you've got the choice to take a vaccine and allow a couple of beers, you'll probably go for the other one, not the Russian one. Okay, so we're coming on to some, uh, some bumpy roads. I do have the GoPro Hero 8 stabilization I don't know <laughs> I don't know how good the stabilization is okay so also with this nanogen vaccine being made in Vietnam the cost will be around 120,000 Vietnam dong per dose and it will require two doses with the space of two weeks apart also, in the COVID-19 news, something very interesting actually, and something I haven't seen anywhere except Saturday, was the fact that Nanogen are developing nasal sprays and eye droppers, drops for the vaccine too. Now this is mainly targeted to children under 12 years old or those people who have underlying problems already and are unable to take the injections so that's that's actually fantastic news i've not heard that anywhere so you hear you here first with travel agent hanoi <coughs> while riding the countryside of vietnam can't beat it can you okay so that's the main news a couple of little snippets which I thought would uh, interest maybe some sports fans Vietnam have have reached the FIFA rankings of 93rd this year which is their record a year-end FIFA ranking actually last year they broke their previous record and became 94th in FIFA so this year, two years running, they're doing something right, although not a lot of matches have been going on in 2020, granted. But it's one small step for Vietnamese football to reach global interest. And you know, I'm, I'm a football fan, although you wouldn't have thought it being a supporter of Middlesbrough. But, um, if Vietnam end up getting into the World Cup, that's fantastic. And if, uh, you know, I'm probably never going to be around. But as I say, Wilming might be. Also in uh, a little bit of the news is that the uh, UK and Vietnam have been chatting about free trade deals. Uh, that's basically going to con conclude shortly. But with hopes of a free trade deal between Vietnam and the uh, UK is fantastic. Once Britain leave the EU, I'm suppose, I suppose most of you are pretty pig sick of hearing about Brexit, so I'll move on. So, what's going on with me and travel agent Hanoi? Well, basically I'm riding my bike around the countryside, delivering videos to you. And also, I'm actually continuing with our campaign, bringing Vietnam to you. This is where I'm showing you videos from around Vietnam, mainly North Vietnam at the moment, but also central regions too. So if you haven't yet subscribed, do check out our YouTube channel. The link is below. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. And you'll be updated with new videos as and when they come up. I'm uh, delivering news Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. So keep an eye out for those. We have plenty to see and look through. And we hope to see you guys 
post-COVID traveling to Vietnam with travel agent Hanoi. Cheers.